Thanks. A French professor at Centenary College is given a huge honor when he's named the new honorary council of France. The French ambassador to the U.S. visited Dr. Dana Kress to name him representative of the French Republic in North Louisiana. Dr. Kress was selected because of his involvement in the development of French language and culture in North Louisiana. The honor will also help Centenary College students. Well, it gives us more contacts all over the world. It gives us uh, a way to have an outreach that we've never had before. And it will put us in uh, really in the forefront of international studies in French and in the Francophone world. Très bien. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Cress will provide assistance to French nationals who live in North Louisiana. A little French for you, Shannon. All right. Louisiana is working to promote its partnership with France. French Council Ambassador TV. Pierre Vimal was the Dana special Cress. guest at an Chairman honorary Dana ceremony. Crawford. Dr. Dana, Dana Kress Cassidy. has been selected to be the honorary Senator consul of the French Republic in North Louisiana. In Dr. Kress is a Centenary College French professor. For this to happen for me is probably the most touching moment of my life. World War II veteran Benjamin McGraw-Rush was also at the ceremony. Ambassador Vermont bestowed him the Legion of Honor, France's highest distinction. A special honor for two war veterans. Ambassador of France to the U.S. Pierre Vermont visited Shreveport today to honor two men who served the ambassador nation, now and in the past. Dr. Benjamin Rush, a veteran of World War II who fought in France, was given one of the highest honors possible, the Legion of Honor. Dr. Dana Cress, which was honored with the position of Honorary Consul of France by the French Ministry of Foreign and European Affairs. Quite an honor for a private. <laughs> and, and the manner in which you did it was wonderful. Um, I really feel like I'm in a strange position because what I did was small compared to the others. But I thank you. Some 100 family, friends, and local dignitaries gathered to honor those men.